Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sandbox channel. Today, we are building the um, Shin Masunaga's Sakotu. I don't know how do you pronounce that, but I think I got pretty close, right? So, for those of you that says, wait, uh, we already got like an RG one. Why don't you just build an RG one? It's pretty in Bandai. It's expensive as hell. I'm recently broken, okay? I don't have money to buy that. But I do plan on buying the Gabby's the Gabby one and then the uh, Eric one. If you don't know, then uh, just type it out because it's the reason RG. And I'm still saving money to get the Gabby one because I think the color color theme on it is cool and the Eric one as well. And when you ask me why don't I buy the RG of this one because it's pure white and is boring. So I just decided, yeah, I actually should do. So actually, if you look at the box art, there's a lot of Easter eggs. So first we got the uh, Dozon Zabi. I believe this is Dozon Zabi's uh, Zaku and this is a gym sniper custom right down here. So I did a review like uh, a couple weeks ago. So go check that out. Thank you. And look at the side. We heard introduction of the uh, Zaku is Japanese. So if you know how to read Japanese, uh, read it. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Other side though, we got uh, the marking here, and then you know introduction weapons, and then accessories, hands option, and then you know movements, actions as well. So you know let's just skip that part and you know open it first. So it is a pretty thin box, so I assume that's not gonna be very much part. Yes, three bags of runners, and that's pretty much it. So let's quickly flip through the instruction menu. So as usual, we got the details at the top left corner, and then when we open it, we can see all kind of action and all kind of. Introduction, they even got like the 06R series right here. So we got the uh, the Black TriStar ones, but the Black TriStar ones, guys, please don't be stupid. Don't buy the RG one, don't buy the uh, original HG one, buy the origin one. The origin one's TriStar Saga 2 is way, way better, okay? And it comes with the weapon that uh, they used in the anime or the novel. And then, now, we just have to quickly look through it. So let's look at the runners. It's all the runners been used, and then we can look at the size. So you know, quickly do 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 do. And look at the back. It's exactly the same. And then there's the marking guide here. So yeah, just do some marking because you know, you know what this. You know, the only thing that is special on these. Um, Masunaga's Saku is the marking. Like, I think the marking is the most famous part. All right, now let's take a look of the runners because I built a lot of Sakus. I think I will get the runners part right. So this is the C1 runner. As we can see, the legs part, the heads part, the shoulders part, the waist, uh, side skirt, front skirt, back skirt, and then shoulders joint, knees, uh, the knee, knees armor, the, the, the inner, the inner waist, and then this is the spike on the shoulder, and antennas. This is a E F, oh, sorry F runner. So we got a, we got the shoulders part, we got the legs, uh, the arms part, the hand caps, the waist armor, the shoulder, yeah, shoulder, and then the legs unit. This is the D runner. It's soft plastic, so it is the tube on the gamble. So the head, the waist. This is a B runner. We got the backpack. We got the uh, backpack at the feet, the torso, the arms, the feet, and the back of the arm. Yes. This is the A runner. We got all the inner joints for the Zaku from the uh, torso hands option down here as well. And then we got some, the mono eye here, the mono eye piece here, and then yeah, that's all the inner parts for it. And this is the Saku's weapon. As we can see, we got some thrusters here. We got the inner inner joint of the legs. And then we got thrusters here again. We got uh, Heat Hawk, the hands option again, the bazooka, the beam machine, uh, no, no, not the beam machine, the machine gun, and then the machine gun cap, uh, the, the scope of the machine gun, the head, and the tail of the bazooka body caps and then a sticker that's a lot of stickers actually and then there's one that is the marking for the zaku and that's it that's that's the runner's introduction right now i'm gonna get to the building part and i'll see you guys at review um, down to the ground you're dragging me 
is constantly No, I, I won't make a sound I love the pain It sets me free It's wrong, I can't be crying Hey guys, welcome back to the review. Now we're gonna take a look at this finishing product of the Zaga 2. Uh, this, um, you know, if I have to give some comments about it, I would say though the RG is better at details and the and some weapon stability and the XG one is just a uh, very minimum of movements and is it can stand by itself because. You know, I built two RG Zakus, they both can't stand on their own. Now it's currently in my shelf on the action base. But the XG one, because they don't have the triple joint on the feet, that's why it's uh, staying on the ground so well. And the difference between RG and XG, I yeah, just they say. But as I said, if you have the condition, if you have the money, just buy the RG one. Okay, the RG one is better and you will enjoy it a lot better if you if you're gonna put it on the action base or something like that. But this one XG though, not too bad. It's just the movements is sort of trash. So first let's look at the head. So the head is moved up and down, can move side to side because the head is too big. And the head this time, uh, just like all the origin series, there's a little gimmick down here. You can you can you can you know turn this little part around and then the model eye will move with it. So that's pretty much the head. The head doesn't have really you know um, mind blowing articulation or anything like that. It's just a very normal head. And I definitely say though, if you ask me, I like the XG head better or the RG head better. I would I would probably tell you the RG head because if you remember both of my Saku review, the Saku My Layer and the Johnny Reddens. Um, 
when you turn ahead, the mono I turn on by itself, and the mono I will turn it by itself. So I really like that kind of design. So of course I would say the RG is going to be better on the head. Next up, let's take let's take a look at the arms. So the arms is able to move 360, bend up a angle of 90 degrees. And there's a thing as well, the hand, the hand part, the hands is very easy to pop out, and this is the part that I don't like. And the sh and the shield can move um, 360, uh, no, not 360, 180 as well. And then the other side, the other side of the spike can move up as well. The whole arm can move slightly to the front, and it's not capable to move lift up 90 degrees. Neither on this side as well. So the arms articulation are limited. Of course, this is the XG. Now let's take a look at the torso. So the torso here is you know it's pretty lame. It's not like very explosive or something like that. But if you're building an RG, there will be a cockpit open at the <clears throat> at the left side of the chest. And that's where you can open it up from. So first, the articulation at the front is definitely not movable for the front skirt. Side skirt, oh, I took the magazine out. Uh, side skirt, barely movable. The whole legs is able to kick to the front, kick to the back, kick to the side, and bend. 40, not even not even 45 degrees, right? Can bend even, not even 45 degrees. And then, you know, the waist is completely immovable, just like the RG. The RG version is not movable as well on the waist because during the connector of the tubes standing in the way, and if you, if the RG, if you turn it, you have two endings. One, the whole thing is going to pop out. Every small pieces of the tube will fall on the ground. Or two, you're going to break the waist. And now let's look at the feet. So the feet, there's a double joint here, so you can do some... So, so there's an extra movement joint here so you can enjoy a little bit for all the legs movement and that's pretty much it and then the and then the gray part here obviously is a sticker the yellow part on the arms is already see a sticker as well and then the backpack here we got a lot of sticker as well so as you can see all the black parts on the backpack is sticker and then the red part here is a sticker as well the backpack oh, don't really have much to talk about because you know it's not RG, it doesn't have any hidden things. But the thing that I don't like the most on the XG is this thrust is very easy to pop out. Once before I was shooting this review, I was doing some photo shooting and then it just and then uh when I was trying to mess around with the uh thruster position and then it popped out. Great. Very great. And yes, that's basically the whole gunpla there's not really much to talk about all right now let's talk about the accessory before we close up the whole review so first uh the currently you see is the weapon holding hand for the left arm only we got a fist hand for the left arm and then we got both tr uh, two trigger hands oops and then we got two trigger hands and then this is the machine gun the machine gun is movable on the scope and the handle here and next up, we got a typical bazooka. The bazooka can move on the on the scope and the side as well. And even the handle down here is movable as well. Next up, we got a heat hog. Uh, the heat hog is obviously you have to do a lot of recoloring. Even on the RG though, the RG don't give you any color separation at all. Damn. And then you know there's a little joint there, so you can put it on this side of the waist. And that's it. And then for the machine gun though, we have an extra magazine, so that's why. When at the start of the review, you see that there's a magazine falling out. The magazine is just very simple. You just push it in. But this magazine have a problem. It doesn't really stick onto it. And it will, you know, with a slight touch, it will just fall again. And unfortunately, we can't fix that. It's an XG. But uh, just like the RG version, we got this little piece here. You're going to tell me, whoa, what this little piece, what this little piece does. So the, the thing that it did, so the thing that it does is the, is to connect all the weapons on the shoulder of the, uh, Zaku. So I don't exactly remember. Oh, that's, that's the point here. So, you know, let's just give us a quick second and then I'll just put it on and then, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be very, it's going to be very quick. No, every anyway. So it's just gonna put it on like this, and then all you have to do now is to put it back on the gun plus, and then oh, the bazooka is a little unstable. So now there we go. So this is the whole weapon, the weapon storage, and then you put it on the uh of the shield side of the shoulder. But the part about this actually thing I don't like is it's 
it's way harder to put it on than the RG. The RG is very easy to slap it on, but this time the XG1 is a little bit tough to put it on. And I, and you might need to use a bit of strength to push it in, but that's pretty much it. So this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, before I close the video, I'm just gonna say a couple things. So if you really, as I said, if you really have the condition and you you really have the money, I would probably tell you, even though it's a premium band nine and it's not really worth it, I'll suggest you just buy RG the XG one. You know, as a person that already played with the RG Zaku, I feel like there's a a, a big difference, a like a very big difference, and definitely the rg sure it might not really standing quite well on the ground but is way better for the articulation and overall weapons stability and then the and then you know the the details the decals is going to make you a lot happier and you especially will enjoy to move around the head because until now i was sometimes i would take out my zaku just to just to turn my rg zaku's mono eye because it's so fun to mess with the mono eye on it and I think the RG1 is designed very well, but meanwhile the XG1 you have to do it by your hand, but it's fine. If you don't if you really if you really like the Saku design uh and you want a low budget, go for XG1. But if you have the condition, if you have the money, I would seriously suggest you just buy an RG and you won't regret it. Although it can't stand on the ground and the waist is sloppy as hell. But anyway, that's my own opinion. Well, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on the videos and subscribe to my channel as well. And I'll see you guys in another Gunpla review. Goodbye.